Welcome back guys. How's everybody doing today? Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to go over how to copy a thread from an existing object in the real world and take those threads and model them in Tinkercad. Um, we're also going to go over how to make the reverse of that object so you can thread whatever object you have into uh, your 3D print or whatever you're modeling up. For me today, I'm going to be modeling the threads of a quarter inch NPT gauge for air pressure. So we're going to go ahead and use that as our base object. So first thing we're going to need is to come over into Tinkercad and grab the isometric thread generator right here. Next what we're going to need is the dimensions of the threads we're going to use. So you could use a set of calipers and measure your threads or you could just do what I'm doing and using the Google. So in Google we're going to go one slash quarter NPT dimensions. And for one quarter, we can see that we have 18 threads per inch and that the outside diameter is 0 0.540 inches. So we got to transfer that over to millimeters because in Tinkercad, we're working with millimeters, not in inches. So we're going to go to inch to millimeter conversion. It is 25.4 millimeters per inch. I knew that. However, 0 0.54 millimeters is 13.716 millimeters. So we know our diameter of our threads needs to be 13.72 millimeters basically. So we're gonna go 13.72 in the diameter and that'll change this thread generator here. The next thing we know is that we need 18 threads per inch. So over here at rotations we're gonna click on the 5 and change that to 18. Now that it's at 18 millimeters, we're going to pop down a ruler and we need to change this to one inch. So 25.4 millimeters, Ooh, not 15.4, but 25.4 millimeters. And that'll change everything about the threading. It'll change the pitch angle and everything to match our threads. Right here, what we have now is quarter inch NPT threads, basically without the taper. I want to come in and change a few other things. So our tip scale here changes the bluntness of the tip. So if you go over here to one, you can tell that it's just a regular thread. And if you scale it back, the more you scale it, the thinner it gets, the more gradual the thread is formed. So I'm going to leave that at zero and I'm going to up the tip segments as that chooses how gradual the uh, thread changes as it goes around for the first section, at least. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to crank up the sections here to a higher value, probably all the way up. Because what that does is instead of having these hexagonal lines going all the way down our thread, we get a smoother transition. So here's our quarter inch NPT thread. The next thing we're going to do is come over into basic shapes and bring over a cylinder. So for the cylinder, this isn't doesn't matter much. This will be the outside diameter of whatever you want to thread into. I'm going to go ahead and say 22 millimeters by, um, where's our... Oh, here it is, 22 millimeters. I'm going to go ahead and turn the sides up to that to make it smooth as well. The next thing I'm going to do is grab both of these and press this align tool, click on the cylinder, click in the middle, and click the middle again. This is now centered into, the, into this cylinder. As we can tell, it's going all the way through, and that's just about where we want it. However, here's the problem. Whenever you're 3D printing, as the nozzle moves around this outside, right, it's going to pull in some of this material back with it as it makes this curve. So you're going to end up with a smaller hole than what you think you're actually printing. To combat that, what we're going to do is we're going to take this thread and we're going to oversize it. First, what we're going to want to do is Control D this to bring an original over here because this is our threads. This is what we're going to use to make the adapter or the female side of the threads. And we're going to want to oversize this some now. So, depending on your printer, you're going to need to make some test prints. I know that my printer consistently prints out about a half a millimeter over with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. That being said, I have recently upgraded my nozzle on my 3D printer to a Volcano 1 millimeter nozzle to help out print out big objects very rapidly and quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to add 2 millimeters as it's almost always about double for me. 
of what the uh, object or about sorry it's always about double of what the um, nozzle diameter is so I'm just gonna go uh, with uh, 15.7 here actually I'll knock that down to say 15.5 to get a nice good snug fit we're gonna then have to go grab both of these and realign them back to the center nope nope we're good it shrank it down uniformly so we're at 15.5 by 15.5 and now we need to change that into a hole we're gonna grab both of them and group them together give that a second to let it work and there we go now we have quarter inch NPT threads in this and we have a quarter inch NPT thread here so that's how you copy threads and uh, make the reverse of the thread so you can adapt it to anything you want to. Um, for this particular thread, what I'm going to be doing with this thread is building a pressure chamber above it in the next video. And then printing it out and seeing how much air pressure PLA Plus can hold up to. I'm really hoping we can get above 50 PSI or so. Anyways guys, that's the end of this video. If you liked it, please consider liking, subscribing, or sharing this video. And leave a comment if you want to see anything else done or have any technical questions. I'll do my best to answer them if I have the ability to. If you need threads copied from something else, please follow along and send me a private message or a comment. And let me know if you need some help. I'll be more than willing to help you out. Thanks, guys.